Good day fellas! I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with one of my favorite tanks, Vaza 55. Uh, and without further ado, let's go into the game with this vehicle. Also, fellas, if you are curious what kind of equipment I recommend to use on the tanks uh, and so on, so on, feel free to check the index page. You can find many uh, important information here. For example, expectation values for mark of excellence, ace expectations, equipment, uh, field modifications, what to use on the tank and many, many other things. So feel free to check it out. Hopefully you are going to find uh, this information interesting and good for yourself as well so what do we have for this game wow we have a very very good matchmaking by the way when i'm whenever i am recording the video it is already after the midnight so my brain can be a bit slower so i apologize for that obviously nevertheless we are going to try to make this vehicle work and hopefully uh, it will work great why do I love this vehicle and why this tank is so damn good? Well, answer is very, very simple, fellas. This tank have an amazing burst fire. You are doing 1000 damage in 2 seconds just like this. You have a very great speed, especially when you are using turbo. And you have pretty good gun handling. Although gun handling obviously can uh, treat you like a uh, kaku from time to time. And uh, nothing what you can change about this. But usually it should be completely fine. And usually everything should work in your uh, um, favor. Now we are going with a couple of the blind shots there and there. We'll see after this game are we going to hit those or not really. Out of curiosity obviously. Um, and why I decided to go for this position? Because this position is absolutely uh, packed. At least usually it is packed. That's why we went for a blind shot. I hope not to take one um, in the side while crossing. And luckily for us uh, we are not taking a single bit of damage. That's very good. Extremely good. Okay, so what do we have? We have very, very aggressive enemy team. Enemy team is showing a massive aggression, but you know what that means? That means we are going to say hello for them. Meanwhile, Bachet is playing here, but I don't really care, and this is why this tank is awesome. One, two. That's it. This is the main reason why this vehicle is so damn awesome. And why am I saying such a good things for this tank? Uh, and about this vehicle as well, right? Um, you are capable to burst 1000 damage into the enemy face in 2 seconds. It is truly nuts. So for example, if you are finding the tourist like Kava 4 who is traveling all over the place, you can do many, many bad things. I did not realize that he is going to peek here, so I would obviously not fire the second time, or I suppose to say the first time when I fired for when I went for a snapshot, but that's okay. We are going to still punish this gentleman, especially when he will go back. He's going back and how fear is it skill? Um, I have a question. How fear it is uh, for this tier 8 uh, to play against this uh, against this tank? Well, it's not very fear, but let's get real, fellas. Um, World of Tanks never ever was uh, uh, a fear game, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, if the tier, if the tier eights can meet the tier tens, aka the tanks which are way, way better. I mean, how you can say it is very fair. But in the same time, if you are a top tier yourself, you can flex from time to time. You can say, "Oh, luckily I was a tier. Um, I am lucky with the matchmaking." That's what you can do, right? Anyways, enemy budget is going in front like crazy. We are bouncing the very first shot, which is quite sad, but not much what I can change about this. Unfortunately, we were a bit unlucky here. Doesn't really matter. We are still feeling relatively fine. And obviously, we see what budget is doing. Meanwhile, object is trying to be annoying as well. But you know what? Uh, in the same time, object might enjoy himself to the maximum, for example, while taking 500 in the face. And now, uh, we are going to eliminate this gentleman from the game. Skill, are you sure about this? Never ever was not so sure. Skill, uh, do you understand what you said? No, never ever was not so sure. See, he's eliminated. Beautiful. I knew it. Fellas, I knew it. Okay, 
3000 damage and we still have uh, half of our HP left and that's very very good. What we are going to do next? Next we are going to eliminate those gentlemen who are playing here and I think uh, we shouldn't have too many problems uh, fighting against them. Let's see, 2 seconds left and 1 for the team. He's not very happy, 2 for the team, he is very happy now. He is extremely happy while going to the garage. I see, unfortunately we are getting lit on fire and obviously, luckily, luckily for us we did not burn it till the end. Okay, that's fair. Nothing what we can change there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very unlucky for us. But once again, it is how it is. Um, eventually, we are going to catch this guy making a mistake. But for now, we are going to peer, 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 peer. Simply escape like this. That's all we need to do. That was a bad uh, uh, situation. Nothing more than that. Just bad luck to be lit on fire. And you know, uh, you need to pay for that 10% boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You need to pay for that 10%. Okay, very nice. We know where this gentleman is playing now. So what do we need to do? We need to go for him and we need to try to clip him out for obvious reasons. And at the same time, if you would pay attention how many forces we have who are going in front, I believe you can see we have shit on of the forces. Pretty much all our team is going in front and now, oh boy, oh boy, you messed up. That's one. Can we hit him once again? I believe we can. Skill how you are planning to hit him. In fact, never mind. I don't care about him. Skill, what do you care about? Jump. 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 No skill once again with your jumping. Jump. 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 Actually, I am not going to jump because I cannot. But what I can do, I can hit this guy once again. That's pretty good. And uh, after next clip, I might jump. After next clip, I believe we can easily go for a jump. At least that's what I want to believe. So, mister, how are you doing today? He's enjoying himself, he's aiming for us, unfortunately we did not penetrate him, and now we got a nice penetration. That's very, very nice. Beautiful game, I mean, how enemies can defend themselves against this? Honestly, I do not really think they can. They simply can't, fellas. And in the same time, at this point, my brain is sluggish a bit. Uh, my brain is definitely lagging and everything. So keep this in mind. Skill, you promise a jump. <laughs> Perfect landing, like a cat. Always on my paws, aka feet. Very, very nice. Good. Skill, why you haven't jumped before? Because we did not really had a proper angle in a way and it was simply not worth it. You know, I would die and that's about it. So yeah, 6,000 damage. What did we blind shotted? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what did we blind shot? Skoda T50 maybe? We blind shot at someone. No, definitely not Skoda. Maybe this budget or something. Anyways, uh, 6,000 damage. I don't know what do you want me to say and uh, actually no comments boys and girls ladies and gentlemen I don't have anything to say as you can see this vehicle can work obviously by any means we had a great matchmaking against the tier 8 so we definitely had an advantage how about the tier 10 game Although I want to highlight one very, very important thing. If you are playing, uh, by the way, this time I'm going to use turbo. We'll see is it going to pay off uh, how our gun handling will behave and everything. Um, what I wanted to say, I wanted to say uh, usually when you are playing against the tier 10s, I mean, let's get real, majority of the players are going to click 2-2 two -two and they will shred everyone like hot knife through the butter. So it is also a very important thing to say. Um, whenever I am playing the game, usually, obviously not all the time, but I am playing in the budget setup, right? Like small uh, repair, small med kit, not that many gold uh, rounds and so on, so on. Although if I am marking very complicated tanks, for example, Chieftain or even Rene up to 100%, which I um, recently was marking and still marking. I believe uh, I believe it's understandable why we are using the uh, why we are using the full gold ammunition because of the challenge. You know, it is very very important thing to say. So, in other words, there is some times when I'm spamming full gold as well. 
Okay. Very nice. That's a start. This is a start, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We don't need to panic yet. Uh, it is way too early for panic. What I could do, I could try to take this position here. And in fact, I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm going to take this position here. I think we. this gentleman is just simply easy farm. I just need to take that position and I need to make sure he is going to enjoy himself to the maximum. That's what we are doing. Meanwhile, we found some sniper schnitzels in the back, or maybe our EBR found some sniper schnitzels in the back, I suppose to say. Right? Okay. Are we spotted? We are not even spotted. That's actually very, very nice. How are you doing? That's one. Wow, how they're flying. You have that one bounced. We bounced both of the shots into the lower plate of uh, 113. Okay, nothing to say, nothing to do, we just simply need to accept this and better luck next time, fellas. Better luck next time. Obviously, we are going to try to build better angle this time and hopefully this time we will be able to penetrate them, right? Meanwhile, Progetto sniping from the back, obviously not the best shots ever, but that's what we have. And we have at least one, that's fine, okay. What we know now, we know now E4 is sniping from here, actually he was visible and I simply did not pay that much attention, I believe. Okay, not that great. Not that great, I think my brain is a bit farting. But you know what fellas, if I can still play after, uh, after 8 hours of stream and I can still make a YouTube recording, right? Um, I believe... Uh, <laughs> I believe it is completely fine, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I want to believe it is completely fine. So, maybe I want to escape from here, maybe. Now, what am I thinking? I am thinking, do I want to get a bit more involved here? Is it worth to get a bit more involved here? This is also true. Uh, we need to say the truth. Oh, come on. This is, um, this is poor luck. Although... We are not using the, we are not using ventilation. And ventilation is also pretty damn important uh, thing. It is important piece of the equipment as wrong as it sounds. It is important piece of equipment. My aim is not that horrible, my friends, but oh well. What can we do? That was bad shot by me. It is okay. Let it be. Step by step, little by little. I remember once again when we were marking this vehicle, um, I was using ventilation just because uh, of the gun handling, you know, to make gun handling as reliable as possible. That was important. Anyways, how are you doing? We can't penetrate him like this. I know it sounds weird, but we can do that and minus 1000 damage in the face. This is golden. And we are not spamming the full APCRs. Although probably while spamming full APCRs we would have definitely better performance. In fact, next clip is going to be golden. In fact, next clip is going to be golden for sure. Okay. I hear that. I hear when he tried to shnai me. I have an idea. I want to relocate from here. I don't like this position anymore. I know this is risky and I might take one for the team from the tank destroyers in the back, but I think it is about the time. Uh, it is about the time to relocate, fellas. I'm just a bit too paranoid uh, uh, sitting there. Uh, what position do we want to take exactly? I would say I kind of want to go safe road, right? By saying safe road, I mean like this. To make a bit of pressure, uh, pressure like this for um, Mr. Kranwagen. Or alternatively we could go for a medium tanks as well. Maybe for a medium tanks it would be a better call. What do you think? Clear one flank first. This is, this is the raw truth and this is the best play what you can do. 
I think our Leo is going to be fine against the Leo. So what we are doing, we are actually going like this. We will try to play against the Mr. Kranwagen uh, or against the Grille or against the EBR or 1-1-B one one or maybe we can simply have a safe defense parameter and hopefully we can get some use of all this. We have two Badgers. Um, both of them have extremely good DPM, right? So hopefully they will put the DPM into the good use. At least I hope so. At least I hope so, fellas. Okay. How about this? Look at this. They are making as much pressure as they physically and possibly can. That's good. And we are fine. Ooh, Fava, how are you doing? Boom, straight into Fava head. Good, 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 good. 1 to 1 B is obviously sniping from the back, but it doesn't really change absolutely anything. I'm trying to cross like this. And at this point, we can play quite well. Hold down in this position, right? And look at this. Uh, all HP lead from um, enemy side, it is kind of gone. In fact, it is gone to that level, I want to re-push this side, and I want to believe we can do this uh, uh, with relative ease. That's what I am hoping for. Let's see. Can we do this, fellas? Can we do this? Rush. Bad shot by me. Nothing to say, nothing to add, just bad shot by me. Maybe I was waiting a bit too long or maybe I did not aim at that much. Well, not maybe, I didn't aim at that much, right? I really want to see enemy for us somewhere here. You know what? I have a feeling we should go for that Grille. More I think about this, more I want to go for a Grille. I might really regret my life choices and stuff, but I believe we can go. Good. That's very, very nice. We have some support in the back, so that's fine. I know I am down to fartable at this point for 1 to 1B, and I know this gentleman might be very, very involved. I see, I see, fellas. I see that Arta. Don't worry, I see that Arta. How to deal with all this, huh? I am truly afraid if this 1 to 1B is spotting us, there is a humongous chance this Arta will simply rebalance us and it is going to be game over for us. And I truly do not want to see this happening. That was quite bad shot by us. That's okay. I am just waiting for Arta and 1 to 1B. 1 to 1B is sitting here, that's okay. I have a feeling Arta is currently on the reload. That's what I believe, or that's what I want to believe. Okay. Let's try to get a bit involved. Good, our art just fired. Hmm, it is okay. Not that bad, fellas. Considering how we played this battle, it wasn't horrible. And once again, I can feel like my brain is a bit farting, but it is completely fine. All good. All good, mate. Jeff is saying sorry. Uh, you shouldn't be sorry. You try to do my best, man. And if you are watching this video, greetings to... Second. Second mark on Jeff. You are dirty, dirty boy. Dirty, dirty boy indeed. Anyways, let's teleport into the end of this game, shall we? And we are back with a victory. Well, I hope, fellas, we were a part of the team and I hope we helped our team to win the game. Um, it wasn't the greatest battle by any means speaking about our performance, but once again, um, I'm a bit tired, fella, so I cannot complain too much about my performance. I just simply need to accept this um, and I need to take one for the team. Anyways, 4,000 damage, 1.3 uh, thousand assisting damage, probably we made profits, which is always nice and always welcome and this is the performance which we have. Very, very nice. Epic. Okay, let's go for a third battle and uh, let's hope third battle to be uh, somehow decent, right? 
Tier 8s, wow, Wargaming loves me. I'm telling you, fellas, Wargaming loves me. This is absolutely insane. Okay, stay tuned for this. This is going to be a nice spotting position for us. I, re I really want to highlight this position. It is super important. I am even going to use the turbo to get into that position in, in time. And that position is here. This is very, very, very important, my friends. It truly is. Um, what do I mean by saying that is... Whenever you are knocking one tree down, you can spot, you can spot enemies and your sniper schnitzels from here can easily uh, shoot the heavy line, right? That's what we need to do. What's up, guys? Uh, snipe crossing heavies. I hope we are going to have uh, some guns, you know? This is very important thing. Love you, bro. <laughs> Uh, ELC even is having a great time. I'm happy. Okay, anyways. So once again, what is the position I am talking about and uh, uh, what the flying F skill do you want to say for us? Well, there is a position from where you are spotting everyone crossing and it is in the heavy line. So as you can see, there is a beautiful tree over there. You need to arrive here and you need to knock this tree just like so. If you are knocking the tree like this, you are going to spot crossing forces. And even though you are getting spotted, you shouldn't care less about this. Why so? Because you are relatively hold down here and you can actually spot them crossing anyways, right? It doesn't matter what camo you have. If, if you have, for example, um, camo as a light tank, obviously enemies won't be able to spot you anyhow. If you are here with a heavy tank, let's say Vaza, right? Um, you will be able to do bad things for the enemies as well. So, for example, you see, this guy is thinking about crossing. And if he will, he is not going to enjoy himself. And we are getting all this beautiful crossing uh, um, assisting damage. I know it sounds weird, but this is how it goes. And this is uh, this is how you are starting this battle overall. STI is considering about crossing, which is one again understandable and he is getting spotted by us if we are spotting him our sniper schnitzels are playing here right and if our sniper schnitzels are hitting them they are not having a great time simple as this fellas simple as this at this point i am actually considering my life choices and i am thinking about making pressure like this uh the turbo gun handling of this vehicle is not bueno I can tell you one very, very simple thing, fellas. The turbo gun handling is uh, way, way, way worse. And I can tell a uh, pretty damn big difference. Um, so maybe it wasn't the wisest choice um, to go with this kind of setup. But it's okay. Relax, take it easy. We are fine. So what do we want to do now? Object 777 is going to be the next victim, right? We are going to go like this and we will clip his ass. We are going to take our time to aim and we are going to make sure he is dead. Beautiful, very, very nice. What do we want to do now? Now we are thinking about the gentlemen who are sitting here, right? Even though I would love to spot their sniper schnitzels here, it is going to be way more complicated just because they are paying a humongous attention at us. Meanwhile, our team is going in front like there is no tomorrow. That's pretty damn good. Double penetrator is trying to escape. That's okay. And now we are going to spot all snipers. Look at this beauty. That's a nice ass. And what we are going to do, we are going to smack him a couple of times beautiful 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 very good we are having a winning spawn in this map and i believe it is pretty damn visible um at least i am definitely not surprised whenever we are winning the game from this spawn, right and all we need to do at this point at this point we need to have our eyes widely open that's all we need to do fellas i see there is a gentleman here but i literally do not i couldn't care less about him at this point obviously and we are still feeling all right even though we are getting clipped by the um by the Fosh b it doesn't really matter it truly doesn't matter fellas we are feeling all right even though if we are armor act and we do not have the uh, repairs um, available at the time we are still feeling all right um we have okay 
3.7 thousand and we can get more this is only the start in a way at least that's what i want to believe this is a gentleman who is going to get clipped by us in a moment oh come on gun handling don't treat me like this gun handling is saying nope not today and once again nothing what we can change about this uh we should get one more clip if we are going to be lucky right and everything is depending on the luck at this point i really want to clip this t95 out and uh, there is a chance we will although there is a chance we won't as well just because we are ammo wrecked. and you know what is the funny thing even though if this tank reload would be um let's say slower by um, 20 seconds this tank would still be pretty damn powerful vehicle uh, for uh, for uh, current uh, uh, game honestly it would be pretty damn powerful tank anyways so what do we want to do we want to simply go in and we want to spank him like no one spanked him before hopefully we will do this and kaboom 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 beautiful that is a sandwich we just banged everything from him by the way we have Skoda Skoda has PP Razor Skoda is excited and we are taking another victory very 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 good fellas um 3.3 thousand damage 1.7 thousand assisting damage and everything went pretty well here I can't complain too much about my performance obviously I believe with a fresh head I would play a bit better than I did now but once again that's on me and that's what I deserve fellas so 3.3 thousand damage 2000 assisting damage very very nice we are a second by experience we are a second by the damage we made quite a bit of profits which is always nice and always welcome and after uh, three games our performance is solid 6000 combined or close to that actually 5.7 thousand combined great performance nothing to say nothing to add I love this tank I think the tank is very very good although I recommend to go with this equipment and if you have bounty equipment or bond equipment it is going to be even better just because gun handling can be a bit trollish. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. That was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon. Skill is out for tonight. Peace.